welcome back new and returning victims this is dark angel enids i am your host angel it is march 22nd 2012 about 12 30 at night it's pretty late i know i am sorry about the last two episodes they have been pretty terrible with the sound issues in episode three and then episode four i was just pretty brain dead so that makes this episode number five if you're still with me, that's great. If not, I understand. Okay. Okay, so seductions. I am currently working on the Summer Slice Socks by Cassandra Dominic in the Knit Picks palette in the Cosmopolitan colorway. Didn't really work on it all this week. It's lived in the bottom of my knitting bag and probably stay there just like that for at least another week. Not really feeling the love. The other thing I'm working on is the Fingerless Gloves by Maria Mwandan. It was in the Vogue Knitting Magazine 2009 Holiday Edition. Um, looks like this. Do I like them? I think they're really neat. They're for a swap partner part of my package so I whipped them out I finished them today I got them all sewn together only to discover that uh, I can't possibly even wear them they are too small so I took them to knit night tonight and a friend of mine suggested that I take them apart because you're supposed to sew them up along this edge because they're two medallions basically and you stitch them together and uh, she suggested that I undo them like take the stitches that the sewing stitches out that I put in and crochet a few chains across so that it gives it more give and then send them that way and you know I think she's right I think that would be the best bet because my friend Lori she's just awesome like that she can fix almost everything and anything Oh, that kitty in the background, the black and white one, that's Molly, and you may see George a little later. He, he, they're kind of crazy in this house. So that's what I've been working on, but that's not all. No, it isn't. So I freaked out thinking, oh no, what am I going to do? The gloves didn't turn out. So I picked up the Silver Bells Hat and Scarf Pattern by Stephanie Earp. Earp? E A R P, and it's a free pattern on jewelry. And I started doing this hat down here. I'll show you my progress. I figured if I worked on it exclusively, I'd be able to trip it out by tomorrow night and have it blocked and everything I'm ready to go in my package. Because I want to mail by Friday or Saturday at the very latest for my partner. So, got everything ready for her pretty much. Just fixing it up and getting it ready but no I had to start another project so I started that hat this afternoon and I did that and I thought that was pretty ingenious of me but no I had to start another project too because you know I'm like that so I started this one this is in the Sadar book I just picked it up it's book 395 hearts and stripes 18 hand knits for babies, girls, and boys from birth to seven years old in Snuggly Smiley Stripes DK. Well, I'm obviously not using the same yarn because that's not how I roll. So I've been working on it and I've got the back almost finished. I'm just making the armholes up to five and a half inches. I thought I was done tonight after knit night. I went to my mom's and I worked on it, but I'm not. So then I started working, thought I was done, so I bound off and everything, thinking, okay, the back's done. Never thinking it was wrong. So I started the front panel, one of them, and then it hit me when I got to the instructions that read, knit so many inches until the, until the armhole measures such a length. And I was like, wait, the back didn't say that, did it? I don't remember the back saying that. And then I flipped back and checked, and sure enough, totally did, and I was totally wrong. Alright, so 
so the big reveal for this evening. I finished a bunch of stuff. And I started some stuff too. Crazy like I am. I started the Shizuku Scarf by Angela Tong. This was the February 2011 mystery knit. I used Phoenix Chunky in the blues colorway and I started it yesterday and finished it yesterday. It has been blocked but I don't think it really needs to be just because it's just awesome the way it is already and I like it. See? If we actually had snow it'd be perfect but the weather's being very odd for March and there's no snow. Here in, in Dublin, Ontario, we it was 28 degrees today, kidding you not, at about 32 yesterday and somewhere in the same number the day before. Like crazy. Like you could wear pretty much anything you wanted outside and it wouldn't matter. And the second thing I finished, I started the December Lacy Scarf by Sheree. S H E E R A. It was the Valentine's 2011 mystery knit. The knit along there that I that joined the group I'm a part of. So I finished. I started it. I want to say Tuesday after I podcasted. So Tuesday night, sometime around there. And it's knit out of Sublime Kid Mohair in the number 23 colorway. It was my first time using mohair. Um, I'm not sure what to tell you. I, it looks pretty. It hangs nice. But I'm not really keen on the way it feels against my skin. It's kind of itchy-ish. Not that bad, really. I felt worse. But uh, totally not my thing. Not really. It was an experiment. So, that leaves the only other thing I've been knitting on, the Tappan Zee Cardigan by Amy King, made with Punta Yarns, Merino Perfection, Space Dyed number 389. You can see the color. Why does it do this? If I hold it against me, it's closer to the actual color, but it looks like crap. Well, it's the best we're going to get for tonight. There. So that's what it looks like. It's finished. I just need to block it and put the the buttons on it. I'm not sure what buttons I'm going to use. Molly, please don't destroy stuff. And I'm um, not sure what buttons I'm going to use. I'll figure out. show you next week for sure. But it's really pretty. Like, it's close to the color it is. It's black with spots of purple throughout it. And the closer I hold it to the camera, oh there, that's the way it looks. It's awesome. I love it. It's so soft. My first time with 100% merino too. I've never used it and I just couldn't help myself. That's just the way it is in this house. I can't help myself. So yeah, I finished that. I'm going to block it tomorrow. Oh goodness. Can't help the owning. I'm going to block it tomorrow and get everything ready. Okay. Maybe you so on with waking thoughts. Well, I'm going to continue with the mystery knit along. Um, I've got like 50 more or so to catch up with the rest of the group because I want to do them all. I did sign up to do them all and I just, I want to catch up. So I've got five I think done, which is not bad. So that's the plan. And I was wondering, do you guys have any suggestions on things that I can knit? I'm thinking about doing the Simply Ginny Socks by Anna Peck for my mother-in-law. Oops. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Not sure when. She would like some socks for in the basement because they have their computer down there and I think it's kind of cold. And the second thing I'm thinking about doing is the Snuggly Pearls Double Knitting 3009 Sidar cardigan again, but this time it'll be for Caroline. I'm not sure. It's it sucks the life out of me to do that, but it needs done. I'm not sure when, but shortly. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not going to do the 
the love bites this week. I'll do a bunch tomorrow, next week and then so on and so on. Or maybe, maybe I'll just throw an episode in there showing you all the stuff I've bought in this week, which is kind of insane. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe a Friday special or a Saturday special. What do y'all think? Alone and wondering why I feel this way. Um, so that leaves it with Mrs. Dark Angel. Well, this weekend, me and my daughter, like on Saturday, me and my daughter, Kathy, had a mommy-daughter day. We went to the Stratford Market, and we had a blast. And then we decided we'd go to the Kitchener Market. I was looking for yarn for my swap partner, because she wanted a different color that I definitely don't have in my stash. So we slipped over to the Kitchener Market, and I went into Yarn Indulgence, and I picked out about three different kinds of yarn. I didn't know which one she'd like, so I picked them up, and I ended up getting that baby book, Ooh, and another pattern, and a few other things for my partner. But that wasn't enough. We slipped over to Shelly Knit, because I still wasn't sure if that was what I really wanted to buy or not. And I looked at her yarns, and uh, she's also in Kitchener. So we, we looked around there. And I didn't see anything for my partner, but I did see some stuff for me. I'd been contemplating about making a sweater for myself for Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. I am so sorry. It is so late for me. Um, but I've been debating about making this sweater from Vogue Knitting also. And um, so I decided I'm going to commit myself. I'm going to buy the yarn. I looked at the Cascade 220, which it was originally made out of and I decided against it. I didn't really like the way it felt and then I noticed that they had Barocco Vintage and uh, it feels so much softer and the yardage is so much more. So I picked it up in this teal colorway and I'll show you next week or whenever and I got about seven skeins of it only to realize I didn't need seven skeins. But that's okay. You can always use it somewhere else. And then I was looking at this green they had in the same type of yarn and I was like Ooh, that would be so pretty as a vest. So I picked up a vest pattern while I was there that just happened to be right above it. Ooh, it's a Morocco pattern also, so I just couldn't help myself. So I picked that up and we looked at the spinning wheels and my daughter was amazed and I showed her some alpaca they had there. And it was really nice. We didn't buy any and I didn't buy a wheel. That is a someday Christmas list. <laughs> Hopefully this year for Christmas my husband will buy me something really awesome like a wheel. What do you think? Maybe the ladybug? It's not as expensive as the sidekick. We can help. And I bought some other yarn there and a few other things for my partner. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. And then the day progr progressed, if I could speak. And uh, it was getting late, so me and my daughter headed back to Stratford Way. We stopped at Close Knit, the other yarn shop that is very close to our house. And I, I seen the Nemeste kit, like the Nemeste needle case, and I couldn't help myself. I had to have it. So I got it in a couple older magazines that I just couldn't leave there. I thought they were really interesting in some of the patterns inside. Um, after that, uh, we got some lunch at Boomer's Gourmet Fry. And it was our first time we got poutine and two hot dogs, and my daughter loved it. She thought it was just really awesome, and so did I. It was a neat atmosphere. Um, I went to Distinctly Tea in Stratford my first time. I am a new tea drinker, and I got a whole bunch of different stuff. It was loose leaf tea, and you buy the little strainer and you put it in. It's really good, but I'm not really into the dark tea or the green tea. I like tea with fruit. So I got the blueberry, the apple and cin no, the pumpkin spice, the blueberry, uh, strawberry and kiwi, and the raspberry one, I think. And I just love them. I've, I've tried all four. Can't help myself. You can't just drink one straight. You gotta try them all. So I've tried them and I really like them all. Oh, oh. And then we came home and that's about it that way. Oh, my daughter would love to learn how to knit and I was wondering if you guys had any suggestions on how to teach her. I've started trying to teach her but 
She, she doesn't know how to sit still long enough, and I can't think of something simple enough that she can learn how to knit. Maybe a dishcloth or a scarf? I'm not sure. What are your suggestions? Please put it in the thread and let me know. I'm also thinking about doing an April knit along. If you're interested, please leave a message in the thread and let me know. I was thinking maybe a dishcloth. Um, if you have any ideas, suggest a pattern, let me know, and we'll vote on it. How's that sound? And there'll be a prize at the end of April for everybody who completes this dishcloth, this said dishcloth when we decide. So I need your entries in before April, and then we'll do a vote, and April 1st we'll start. Okay? Alright, so it's sunrise. This vampire is very tired. She needs to get some beauty sleep. So I will leave you tonight, and we will see you again another day. Thanks. Bye. So